Welcome to Wilton, Connecticut, home to roughly 19,000 souls. We're dealing with a very tough real estate market here in Wilton, just like every town in Lower Fairfield County. At the moment, there's only 32 houses available in all of Wilton. The crazier stat is that ready to close in the next 30 to 45 days, 39 houses, and 29 houses just traded in the last 30 days. We are dealing with a limited marketplace here in Wilton, so please reach out. If you have a property you wanna sell, this is your time to cash in. Let's keep going. We have lots to see in Wilton, Connecticut, including a piece from Georgetown that I filmed while I was out doing the Devil's Den piece. So, hope you enjoy. This is Mark Pyers with Coldwell Banker. We're here in downtown Wilton, in front of the town green and the gazebo here. I shot a little bit of this when I did Get to Know America, but now we're doing Explore Connecticut. So let's go. So I'm here in Cannondale Village, this adorable historic area in Wilton, Connecticut. As you see, they've got these old mobile gas pumps in the back. Now, over here is the Cannondale General Store, established in 1789. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Mark nice Pyers. You. My name is Mark Garant. Oh, Mark and Mark. We have the two. Mark. Two marks in the uh, in the show. Is, yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. How long have you been the owner of the store? Well, actually, I'm not the owner of the store. I'm the owner of the property. Oh, the whole property. It's about 11 acres. Yeah. Wow. This, what you see here, is the uh, mid 19th century downtown. This was the original downtown. Of this whole area, this whole farming area. Wow. This was the hub of the farming area. Okay. And uh, the way it happened is that. 1852 the first train uh, tracks were built okay so this station really came into being and around this station they built a center a village center okay. now this place was revived and restored by a well-known actress called june havoc okay june havoc was uh, a legend in her time she was a vaudeville star and then a movie star and her sister was gypsy rose lee and the Play gypsies about her life. Okay. I bought it from her. You bought it from her? Wow. Well, how long ago was that? That was uh, 1990, actually. So, wow. Yeah. It's really a piece of American history. I could say it's probably the defining landmark of, of, of the town of Wilton. I would say this is probably the only authentically preserved uh, 19th century village center south of massachusetts so mark it was a pleasure my friend thank you so much for your time this is amazing thanks take care have a great day okay so guys i'm here at a place called uncle leo's right now and i'm in georgetown connecticut now i'm trying to figure out exactly how georgetown i mean it's where wilton ridgefield weston and redding meet it's this really cool place a little over two square miles called georgetown lots of great restaurants and there's a place called uncle leo's here I thought it would be probably a good time for me to go in and say hello, maybe see if I can get some information about Georgetown. I do videos in all the towns in Lower Fairfield County, and uh, every day I show up in a new town and I usually interview somebody from a business, ask what they love about the town. I was like, you know what, let me just pop in and grab a sandwich and then see if anybody has anything they want to add about Georgetown. Could I get that Charissa sandwich? You don't happen to have any ice, do you? Yeah, I do. Oh, that would be awesome. I'll go to Georgetown. So now this is a whole new concept that I'm going every day and pounding out these new towns. If you, for historical stuff, um, there's this old mill tavern in- Yes. Yeah, that's a whole massive story. Squatters used to live there saying that they had right to it. Really? Disputed property. Yeah, it took so long. It's finally settled. They created a fake business under a fake name. What? So then they could say that they're opening a business there. New people now bought it. They're now renovating it. So it, that's the story though, was that there was some weird like fraud deal yeah, going? Yeah, it was fraud. Oh my goodness, that could be a cool story. Yeah, it's really interesting. Because I saw it was totally abandoned, you know? Yeah, it's been Sorry. like that for so long because squatters have been in it and because of squatters' rights, they couldn't yeah. do anything even though they had legal claim to the land. It's just getting worse now because they like yeah. New York City too. These people will go in there for 30 days. They can, they can say they own the place. Yeah, it's... Like imagine you go away yeah, imagine you go on a family vacation. Yeah. Your own house is just taken over. There's nothing you can do about it's it. It's so unbelievable that, that this is going on right now. But that's the world we live in today. Hey, so. what can I get for you? Hi. Yeah. 
Okay, what was your name? Will. Will? Nice I'll pop, you. just put Will on the screen when, I'm, when they hear you talking. All right. Thanks a lot for the info, I appreciate Here, let me get it. Your, uh, yeah, I'll give you my card. Yeah, All right, hey, thanks so much. I appreciate your time. Uh, have a good one. You too, thanks again. All right, guys, so that's our trip in to Uncle Leo's. I think I should have a little taste test here on this thing. Let's just do a review. We might as well do a food review while we're at it here at Uncle Leo's. Oh. We're at least gonna take one bite of this and see how it is, okay? All right, what do we got here? Ooh, I see some goodness. You know, when you see a little bit of uh, juiciness, Uncle Leo's chorizo, chipotle, hash brown, egg and cheese. Let's do it. Point three. The chorizo is really good. I've had better chipotle mayo, but this is specifically chipotle mayo and not more like a spicy mayo, just sriracha. This has got chipotle in. Sriracha gives you a whole different vibe. I like sriracha better. 8.5. It's almost better after a few minutes of it cooling down. I'm giving that an 8.5. So guys, Uncle Leo's here. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, this, was the sandwich good? Eight, eight five. It's a good, that's a good number. I got this thing, the chorizo egg and cheese. That was good. You know what it is? I like sriracha mayo, but it's advertised as Chipotle, so, but it's really good, so eight, five is a good number, I'd say. I haven't done any reviews. Usually it's just real estate, but I may start getting into reviews now too. Have a good day, I hope you enjoy yours. All right guys, that's a wrap.